<laughs> the, the, we actually, this is the first mega meet um, that isn't dev and admin and... Wits. Wits, thank you. Wherever that, thank you. Thank you, Louise. Um, so it's a bit of a splinter group, but welcome anyway. It's going to be a fantastic uh, mega meet, I think, um, having looked at what's on the agenda. Um, and really appreciate everybody offering their time and joining in um, as well. So uh, a couple of housekeeping things to start off with. We are going to attempt like... Yeah. Uh, mm, okay. Louder. Louder, right. It's fine, I have a mic now, so. Um, we are going to attempt to make this an interactive session. So, everybody, make sure you're paying attention. You will be quizzed on what we're sharing at the end. For those of you that are attending in person, we have plushies and swag to give away for the winners <laughs> of said quiz. So make sure that you join the Wi-Fi. Um, the details are up on the screen. And yeah, don't fall asleep, pay attention, because there are plushies on the line. Um, the other thing in terms of safety, logistics, uh, there is not meant to be a fire alarm. So if there is a fire alarm, leave the building. Uh, the assembly point is uh, shown on screen and uh, yeah, if it sounds, leave by the nearest exit and meet at the assembly point. The main doors uh, will be exit only from 7 till 10. Don't forget to grab a beer on the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we start by running you through the, the agenda. So we are running slightly behind schedule, but that's, that always happens. Normal. So uh, we, we've kind of split it up into the different groups, and there's five user groups that are being represented here today, uh, including us as the London Architects. We are representing the London Nonprofit User Group, Marketing Cloud User Group, Government User Group, and Pardot User Group as well. And as I said, pay attention uh, because there are prizes at the end for those that do pay attention. <laughs> Over to you. This is my bit now. Yeah. yeah. So, welcome to our lovely offices here on London Bridge. Uh, my name is Martin, and I'm representing Solomon here today. Uh, there are many of my colleagues dotted amongst the audience as well. Um, but I just wanted to introduce you to Slalom a bit, uh, if you don't know of us already. There we go. So, we are a Oh yeah, you need that one as well. A, a purpose, purpose-led global business and technology consulting company. Uh, what that just means is that we're all about people and um, being kind of fiercely human. That's our, our tagline, and it's really about putting people first when we're building technology solutions. Um, in the UK, we've got something like 70 people in our Salesforce team, but we do a lot of other things as well: data analytics. Uh, we'll build stuff for you, um, yeah, loads of things. Do you want to just click on one more? So why would you want to interact with Slalom? Well, we're all about um, putting people first. Um, we are a global organisation, but we work locally, so we've got loads of different local markets, people who work um, locally to where they live, so they know about the local issues, they, they really care about the solutions they're putting into place. Um, and we're really all about trying to make our customers successful, so we're not about just uh, milking things for, for years and years. We'll go in, we'll sort something out, and then we'll enable our customers to uh, succeed without us. Um, so yeah, that's all good. Uh, next slide. So we are driven by our core values, which you can see on the screen here, and they're very human values, which um, really uh, you will see demonstrated with every slalomer you meet. And finally, I'll wrap up by saying if you're interested in joining us, uh, please uh, have a word with anyone in a slalom t-shirt tonight. Uh, if you scan that QR code, uh, and there, this slide is also on the screens outside, uh, there's a, a short uh, survey to collect your details and then someone will be in, in contact with you. So that's it from me. I'll let the uh, the rest of the festivities commence. 
But thank you very much for joining us here. We really love to see you in our lovely office. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, the one thing we forgot to say was uh, a big thank you to Slava for giving us this space and for hosting yeah. food as well. So, Amazing food. food, yeah. Okay. Aha. So, yeah. In case you haven't already been told. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who wrote this deck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so look out for clues. There'll be a quiz at the end. And uh, yeah, we have swag. So just in case you forgot, it's, it's been a while since I last told you. So uh, yeah, there it is again. Yeah, sorry to all the virtual people. Uh, just didn't manage to sort out the logistics of getting you swag and things like that. So um, maybe next time, but um, for now, it's just in person. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> We are starting off with an introduction to our own user group. Um, and in case you haven't figured it out yet, uh, we are the architect group um, for the London area. I'm Tom, one of the leaders. This is... Yep, I'm Sam, um, also one of the leaders. And I'm Hans. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all sinister or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Francis might not get the mic again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we wanted to share with you some details about our group, how you can get involved, and some of our highlights throughout the last year as well. So notebook on standby and pen go. Yeah. <laughs> so we started in 2022. Uh, so we're one of the newer groups in the area. We worked this out. And I was like, OK, we're going to put 30 plus years of experience between us uh, as, as group leaders uh, in, the, in the ecosystem. Sam, did you want to elaborate on this one? I know you like talking about this one. <laughs> so in case you missed, uh, last, was it the last one we did? I can't, I, I've lost count. Possibly, yeah. Um, I think it was the last um, <laughs> session that we did um, at own backups offices actually um, we had a, a really cool panel of different kinds of architects because what we wanted to get across was that um, much to quite a lot of people's sort of perceptions of what our, what the architect's role is it's not just one thing there's actually lots of different flavors and actually where's Claire at the back there's one of our panelists over there. Um, so if you want to talk about architect careers, specifically solution architects, then um, there's someone there you can speak to, or you can speak to us, but I'm sure you don't necessarily want to do that. Um, but yeah, lots of different flavors of architects. If you're interested, um, have a look at our, our YouTube video of the yeah. panel from our last session. And yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. So what else do we have? So yeah, we are an architect user group, but we're open to everybody. So whether you're an inspiring architect, you want to learn more about what an architect is, what we do, uh, or if you are already established as an architect, we're here to kind of come together, share, and ultimately kind of learn from each other's experiences. So yeah, op open to everybody. Our content and sessions, we try to do things interactively. Uh, and collaboratively, so that people retain what we share with them, um, and we make it a little bit fun as well, or at least we try to. <laughs> and yeah, some of our uh, highlights really from, from the last year, so this is such a, I don't know who I have to blame for this photo. That was Christmas, that was just before yeah. Christmas, in yeah. November last year. From the hence, last year, yeah. Hence all the Christmas jumpers. Um, yeah, so we, we came together with the Salesforce Architect Evangelists and talked. Yeah, there was quite a few. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Cool. <coughs> and that was our first attempt at running kind of hybrid and being interactive. That was also the first time that the well architected team were over in the UK doing an in person well architected workshop. So we sort of blazed that trail. Um, pretty well because they've then done it um, quite a few times since. Yeah. So it's quite good. Yeah, we'll split off into groups and we had you know something to do, you know workshop it out and then come back and kind of explain our solutions. So yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, and uh, another highlight for us 
was the demystifying architect careers. You can see me there with my box. Uh, with your box. I was spurring to the audience, <laughs> yeah. It was so fun. Um, I was just allowed to talk for some reason. <laughs> and I had this box that I could throw at people and then they could talk. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as I say, we, we had a panel of, of different flavors and kind of gave you uh, an insight into the life of an architect. Do you have anything else you want to say, Sam? No, I think I said no? it, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I did, yeah. Awesome. So in terms of connecting with us, deliberately put a really big QR code there. You scan that, you get redirected to our community group page on the Trailblazer community. Um, we have a Twitter account as well. I'm st we're still calling it Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, I'm pretty sure this was written before it was rebranded, in all fairness. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, so please give us a follow. We have eight followers right now. We need more. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, make a note of that. Join us on the Trailblazer community. We've got a really long URL here uh, to our chatter group. And this URL is what the QR code. Google. Well, just scan the QR code. Oh, scan the QR, yeah, yeah. Go modern. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, without further ado. Who's next? On to the next group, and I am the non-profit group today. <laughs> it's you again. So, uh, not necessarily a secret, but I have passion for the non-profit user group. Unfortunately, um, they all had other commitments today, so weren't able to attend. Um, but I started out my Salesforce career as an admin for Samaritans in the UK, which is a, a big non-profit here. So, definitely have kind of a, a soft space in my ice cold heart for, for the non-profit group, and. Uh, some reason they, they they were like yeah tom you can present our slides so let's see if they regret that later on um so yeah made up of three different uh, leaders we've got tracy uh, will and julia and again the the format of this is going to be quite similar so hope you're all making notes paying attention uh a little bit about the nonprofit user group so Julia, uh, I believe, is the longest serving member. She joined the group back in 2012, which is an impressively long time. And uh, I think that deserves kind of great respect there for somebody who's run a group or been part of a group for that length of time. Um, unsurprisingly, they're focused on nonprofit users uh, of Salesforce, if you hadn't worked that bit out already. And nonprofits of all sizes as well. So smaller kind of uh, nonprofits to very big kind of global nonprofits as well. Um, they support nonprofits of, of different shapes and sizes. And many of their kind of user base are accidental admins who are busy with other responsibilities. Salesforce is part of their role, um, but usually part of, of other things that they uh, need to do to support their nonprofit as well. And they meet four times a year. And uh, this is in March, June, September, and December. And twice a year in June and December, uh, their meetings are actually held uh, in person at Salesforce Tower um, as well. So some highlights for them. Uh, you can see some people in this photo that are in the room. I'm not going to call them out, but <laughs> that they uh, held their meeting in June, and uh, there was over 80 of them, uh, which was kind of record-breaking numbers for them. And looks like they all had a really great time as well. He was on the Ohana floor. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. And um, yeah, so that, that was their highlight. A little bit less crisps in comparison to ours, uh, but still, still a highlight. Um, so that, that was great for them to kind of share that with us. And again, connecting with them, QR code there to scan, 
you can join them on the Trailblazer community and you can sign up on the community groups as well, but the QR code is gonna get you to the URL. Um, and that's it for the non-profit user groups. So maybe a round of applause for them. registration for theirs, they're quite, um, you have to state who you work for, so all non-profit users are welcome. If you work for a partner, they ask that you take a certain ticket type and you make it clear that only one person per partner can attend. So okay. they, they, have to, they, they, they really try to focus it on the, um, on the non-profits. And they, I don't think you said, apologies if you did, they meet in the afternoon, not the evening makes them different for the other groups. Yeah, it's usually during the working day, isn't it? It is, yeah, not yeah. Yet, but 1.30 through to about 4.30. Yeah, okay. Awesome, thank you. So, up next, <laughs> marketing clout. Thank you very much. Hold it, yeah. yeah, hold it, it's fine. Oh. Calm check, calm check, calm check. Uh, is it next? Yeah. Okay, Hello. Kerry. Hi, um, my name is Kerry Townsend. I am one of the leaders of the Marketing Cloud Group. So you'll see our sister group speaking later, but we focus on the engagement side of the tool. Um, and my co-lead is? I'm Jimson Lee. I am a registered partner with Cloud Analysts, and we have the biggest challenge, I think, because when you say marketing cloud, you're talking about 20 products. We lost two products in the last six and a half years. We started in March 2017, and we lost Social Studio and Crux, or Ads Audience Studio, but we have gained two more in our group, and that is Data Cloud, which is CDP, as well as loyalty. So when you think of any of those 20 products, it all falls under marketing cloud. So that's our challenge. Yeah, and we could spend a little bit of time here just rattling through the different names, which possibly mean the same products, but we've had a lot of name changes um, yeah. Yeah. over, over yeah. time. I think the, the, the data, well, what was Wave? What well, was one of those other clouds, analytics? also have experienced a lot of changes, but we're right up there. So as Jimson said, we started meeting in 2017. Um, so Jimson and um, a gentleman called Phil Walton were originally part of the online group, and we started meeting in person, actually, on, in 2017. And our first meeting was at the Tower. Um, and I think if you check out our Twitter handle, you'll see that there is a picture from that vintage time. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> we have a mixture of people that attend. So as you may or may not be aware, it is not possible to get a demo version of Marketing Cloud, which means that there is a huge amount of people who are curious about the product but can't actually get hands on or understand a great deal about it unless they work in an organization that have it or are actually working on the tool. So you'll find that we have a range of people who I've never logged into, the, logged into the tool and just curious through all the way to people who are experienced and users, um, developers have been working on the platform, have come from the exact target days. So again, we're a group where everybody is welcome. We'd love to see you. We're interested in those that are curious and that want to learn more so that they can connect to other people within the community and find out more. And unfortunately between us, we can't solve the how do you get a dev org um, question, which I think is possibly our most frequently asked question, and I'd like to get a t-shirt with that on. Right. Um, <clears throat> so over the pandemic, obviously everybody couldn't meet in person, so we went online. We had a number of meetings that we continued to try and meet um, monthly, and we recorded those um, sessions, and they are now on our YouTube channel, and we'll have a link to that channel uh, later. But we have about um, 20 different videos on there of those recordings that tracks that time and a few of the other recordings of the in-person meetings that we did before we went yeah. online. So we generally now tend to do a bit of a mixture. So we try to meet in person um, as much as we can, but if we can't, then we'll also um, meet online um, on various months and that gives, pe gives people a different option, right? So there are, we're, I believe we're the only marketing cloud group that focus on these products in the UK. 
So by going online, that opens it up to a few more people and we get some people abroad yeah. who join and it also allows us to open up our um, speaker audience to some international speakers who we wouldn't typically have got because they're just not traveling to the UK. Um, and on that note, we are always looking for speakers. So if any of you have access to a marketing cloud org and would really love to share your knowledge, then we would really love to hear from you. I cannot stress that enough. We would love to hear of all varied experiences. Um, and that is like uh, typically on a format here, you might see someone talk for 20 minutes or um, and like 40 minutes even on some deep we're, we're interested in people that will talk for any length of time I throw back to uh, Francis in the corner who's minding his own business he used to do a five minute feature for the admin group like if anybody wants to pick up a five minute feature on marketing cloud feel free because again lots of people can't get access to the tool so there is a lot of mystery and about what it can actually do so we would love to hear from you yeah just one clarification so the product exact target as we know it is called marketing cloud but they have renamed that to marketing cloud engagement because marketing cloud account engagement is now part of it so when you see m which is coming up next the spoiler alert so mcae is the product group and mce is our group but we also have the other 20 products so it gets confusing after a while and as kerry mentioned so we do like to have speakers speak but we now fall under the same release cycle as Salesforce. So we are also three times a year, not five times a year. So when you go to our YouTube channel, there's a good chance that you'll see every, what, every fourth talk that we have will be a product release update. Some are really exciting and some are pretty boring, actually. <laughs> not, not exciting, not sexy. So, uh, but like I said, it's on YouTube. We'll have the link for you after. Um, yeah. And, and sure. over the time frame, we've run uh, 41 uh -huh. events and counting, which I learned yeah. from putting this together. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've had them virtual, we've had them at the tower, we've had it at Slalom, uh, post Dreamforce, we've had it all, all uh, locations all across uh, London based. So that's, yeah. that's pretty exciting. It's all most on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, so these are some of the pictures. So again, we can't take full credit for this wonderful event, which was a joint party. So we try and do joint parties with our sister group at least once or twice a year, particularly around Christmas, for those of you that have got a jumper that needs to come out of the closet, um, and which are really great fun because we, you find a lot of people that work in the space work across the two. We're still talking about marketing automation. There's, there's a lot of value that we can share here. Um, we have done a number of panels and Jimson has appeared on um, some panels but also wanted to call out at the bottom we had Al Iverson around delivery so when we go online or do hybrid events it does allow us to bring in international speakers of people that are are recognized and again another shout to our YouTube channel which we've got some links to on the next page yeah if ever you use marketing cloud and your email isn't getting to where it's supposed to uh, and you Google Salesforce, Marketing Cloud, Deliverability, Spam, Inbox. I guarantee you'll reach Al Iverson somewhere. He used to work for Exact Target and, or Marketing Cloud. And this guy is like the god of deliverability. So um, yeah. his, his talk was, was a bit short, but not bad. He now works for Kickbox. But still, this is a good video if ever you need to refer to. OK. So th this is just how to connect to us. So you can find us on Twitter. Uh, you'll find that I can't spell our handle correctly, so that's great. <laughs> this should be a U, yeah. not an I, if in case anybody's like, what is that about? Um, again, you can connect us on the Trailblazer community as you can with others uh, and groups. And then on YouTube, if you search for F SFMC London, you should find our YouTube channel. Yeah. And, and I yeah, think that's... that's, or that's yeah. The, yeah. That's so that's it from me. And that's it. So uh, our next next meetup is going to be September. It will be September. We we tried to sh like schedule the dates in advance, and then we realised that the dates clash with things like Dreamforce, um, which we probably won't get as much of an attendance as we were hoping for. So we'll either be doing it 
bef the week before or directly the week after. But please yeah. keep an eye out. We're, we're not clear if yeah. that's going to be online yeah. or in person yet, depending on uh, venues to host us. But yeah, please do. If you yeah. join the, the chapter, yeah. then you get notifications of yeah. when the, um, the events are coming out, yeah. as with all the others. Yeah, just join the user group and you'll get notified by email when the meetups are. And that's it, I think. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much for your time. Perfect. Yeah. yeah break, so it feels like we just started, but we do have a 20 minute break scheduled until half past. If you haven't eaten, get some more food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got some more drinks. Have yes. fun, have a chat. Mingle, meet people from different groups you've never met before. So what time? We're saying half, half past, past, yeah? So back half here, past, half yeah. past. We are... We're going to carry on where we left off with a few more of the groups. So, first up is the South Wales Government Group with Oliver Schofield. Hello. <laughs> yes, well, well, welcome to... Yeah, yeah that's, that one I need, yes. Yeah. Um, so, yes, welcome to the public sector. Yeah. Um, Perhaps the dark side of the force? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm making it up now. Um, yes, so um, we have uh, a good flavour of different um, experiences or different uh, implementations within, within government. Obviously, we are not chasing a sale. Uh, so the use of sales force is very different in, uh, in the public sector. Uh, so, uh, it, and it's not all case management. Um, we will have very interesting implementations of marketing cloud or various other innovations. Um, uh, you know, uh, D uh, the Department for Education, for example, uh, uh, have started to use Slack. Uh, so lots of interesting innovations that uh, come out of uh, the public sector. So, um, yeah, ooh. Okay, so this is um, a little bit more about the group. So I've been doing this um, since 2019. Um, uh, initially, um, the outgoing leader, Stefan Chala Garcia, who's now working at Salesforce, he said, um, would you like to run the group? Because obviously I was attending quite regularly. And uh, I said no. <laughs> um, I was thinking of leaving the public sector at the time, and it didn't th feel really appropriate. And then suddenly my contract got extended, and then I became permanent. And then it's like, now I'm a permanent fixture of, as a part of the civil service. Um, so yeah, I've been doing this uh, since, since 2019. Um, in 2019, it was quite an interesting first uh, initiation into running a, running a user group. We, we did it at the tower. Um, and uh, I was speaking essentially on our recent move to the Lightning experience back in 2019. Of course, this was quite hot, uh, quite a hot topic, especially to the public sector who were kind of running behind lots of other people in the private sector that maybe moved um, much earlier. Um, so yeah, I, I um, I'm not entirely sure if this is correct, but. <laughs> it's on the slides now. It's on the slides, so it's tr so it's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, I first started attending the group in 2017. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it was running in 2016. Um, so uh, this is, if anyone asks you, this is this is absolutely true. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're we're mainly focused. I think we're entirely focused on the public sector. I mean, I think. The main thing about the public sector is it's not just essentially uh, gov um, uh, government departments. We also have local and regional government, uh, as well as other uh, non-public, uh, uh, non-government uh, organizations. organizations. NGOs. That, NGOs, that's the one, yeah. Um, so lots of different flavors and offer lots of different use cases uh, for Salesforce on the platform. Ah, right, some, uh, some, some recent sort of highlights that we've had. So um, uh, way back when, essentially, we had um, 
uh, a talk from the DVLA with, um, uh, I think he's Dan Hickson. Uh, the, the details are on my phone and I've got my, where, where I've got all my notes on. And in any case, we, we had an, uh, a talk from the DVLA on chatbots, which was essentially really interesting because um, they, and if you don't believe me, uh, and if you miss this talk, essentially it's, it, it's available as a case study on the Gov, gov.uk website. Uh, so you can learn essentially about how they manage to implement chatbots uh, and how they manage to improve their digital engagement by about 90%. Uh, so yeah, it's still on still on the gov.co uh, website. Can you suggest them uh, to use as well uh, DBL, for DBLA Salesforce form to, uh, to renew the license or something like that? <laughs> the renew the li renewing the license process or getting the license is absolutely nightmare. What did you do to your license? <laughs> 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 I lost it. Let's say like this, and I needed to renew and get into the UI and all this mm. kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so if you've had an engagement with the DVLA uh, and you've happened to use the chatbot, yeah, it is it, it is indeed a, a Salesforce chatbot, uh, which is which is really cool. Um, uh, we also had a very interesting talk from a chap uh, Tim Rathall from from Salesforce. Um, so at the time, essentially, um, uh, uh, we were talking about how you style essentially a community. Uh, with essentially the uh, the, the gov doc, uh, the GDS styling, so the government uh, uh, design system styling. So essentially, if you, if you know when you um, when you whenever you've gone in to submit your uh, your, your COVID results, essentially, uh, or you've done your, your your tax for your car or anything else, it always has the same styling, and that's the GDS styling. So. Um, uh, Tim was talking essentially about the, the stuff, the, the work that he'd made on creating uh, Lightning Web, uh, Lightning Web components for uh, for flow screens. So essentially, you can build your flow screens instead of using the standard components. Uh, essentially, you can now use uh, these custom styled um, components, which will replicate the look and feel of gov.code uh, website. And the really good thing about this, if you miss the talk, is one, uh, we recorded it, and it's on our uh, Trailblazer community. And the other thing, of course, is it's now listed on the App Exchange. So uh, the, app, the app itself is called uh, gov.uk frontend. So essentially, uh, and, and uh, it's also on GitHub. So if uh, so, you can either download it uh, to your org, or you can have a look at it on GitHub. Uh, and essentially, this means essentially that when you're configuring your flow for any kind of online wizard or online community that you're building, essentially you can replicate the look and style of uh, the GovDoc UK um, styling, which comes with all the uh, accessibility stuff and all the things essentially that um, you would expect from. Uh, a government design uh, system. That's the stuff that, that's the stuff that most non-governmental, non-public sector organisations elect to do last. <laughs> yeah, it, it says, yeah, exactly. Probably. Uh, yeah. Just throw that out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it is. It is. It is something that I uh, personally would like to look more at. Because every time I look at our own uh, recruitment site, um, I know that it is not styled with the gov.uk styling. And I know that accessibility is one of those things which is slightly lacking on that. And I keep telling our design uh, organization within in, internally at the National Audit Office where I work is that yeah, we need to sort this out. <laughs> uh, there is a slight trade-off if you do decide to use the template for GDS uh, for your experienced cloud components. Um, it does actually disable some of the standard features that you get access to in experienced cloud. So you need to you need to make a decision uh, if there's stuff that you do need functionality-wise that would be disabled <coughs> by choosing the GDS option. Um, yeah, you've got, to, you've got to weigh up the options. Pros and cons. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. Oliver's the right person to go and speak to. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, there, there are pros and cons essentially with that because you know, and obviously, uh, 
if you if you look if you download it from the App Exchange, obviously you're getting you know the ready-made components. If you uh, are more developer inclined, essentially you want to look at the repository on GitHub. Uh, perhaps that's essentially where you can see where you might you know pick and choose uh, the options that you can use, and some of those things might not be quite disabled. Um, so, yeah. Um, as I say, it's available on the App Exchange. Uh, okay, so yes, please join us um, on our Trailblazer community. Uh, here is the link, and I believe this is the uh, URL, uh, the QR code to take you there. Um, uh, you can also sign up, uh, obviously, on the uh, on the community groups. Um, and again, yes, we are always looking on the lookout for speakers. Uh, venues, sponsors, food, food, food. Uh, yes, <laughs> any, any, any of this good stuff. Yes, I mean, uh, since, since since obviously the pandemic, we have been fully virtual, um, largely because that's uh, been the easiest way to engage with the public sector. We, uh, although we are the London group, we do have a reach into local and regional government. Uh, we have we have had people uh, that. Uh, from local government who've come far afield uh, as the north of England, even. So, um, Oliver, press it one more time. Press it one more time. Press it one more time? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yes. So, if you are interested in speaking with us, essentially you can, uh, you can reach us or reach me, because it is just me. <laughs> um, uh, I'm also looking for anyone who's interested uh, to being a co leader. Um, at the moment, that would involve just prompting me to organise a meeting <laughs> um, and various other things. Um, so, yes, please do reach out if you uh, if, if you want to engage with us uh, about about speaking at an event or hosting us. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Ollie, do you restrict or ask that people work in the public sector to attend? Um, this is something that, um, having, having listened to the previous uh, talks, I am interested in understanding how that works. Uh, because um, I think at the moment, uh, we're, uh, I've been expect accepting everyone into the group. Um, and you need to be a C clear, because for public sector, you need to be a C clear. Uh, no, no, no. You don't. You don't need any particular clear, uh, security clearance to be jo to join the group. Um, I think obviously there are a lot of that, that. There are a variety of people that work in the public sector directly, and there are lots of partners that work to the public sector. Uh, we've had talks from consultancies who have delivered to the public sector, um, uh, as well as people who are. Uh, singletons who work in the public sector as well as people who represent a, a team that work in the public sector so there's a all variety of people at the moment I'm not uh, I'm not selective about who comes uh, with into the group um, uh, I'm taking I'm taking the approach that is more the merrier uh, but I am interested generally in trying to limit perhaps people who um, in attendance may crowd out an event but it's not a problem for me at the moment um, uh, I would love people to. It, it, I would love to have the attendance that we have today. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're wearing the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, Tracy's not going to need it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe just said exactly the same thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> so without further ado, it's the uh, Puddle user group up next. <laughs> Officially, still the Puddle user group. And would you like a clicker? No. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I get to play with oh, I get yeah. I get the wand. <laughs> Hello, this is Thing On. Yes. At the back. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, <laughs> So, we are the, okay, the official name on Trailblazer Community <laughs> <laughs> is 
is the London Marketing Cloud in brackets B2B. <laughs> <laughs> it also rolls off the tongue. Um, we go by many names. Uh, there's also the Marketing Cloud Account Engagement name everyone's familiar with. Today we're just going to refer to it as Pardot. Um, we had a really good thing going when we were just Pug, the Pardot user group. Everyone loves a Pug. Uh, so yeah, my little hug. Uh, hug guys. Uh, Borak, do you want to introduce yourself? Yep, yeah, uh, my name is Borak Seskin. I've been the user group leader for the Pardo group since I think 2017. We might have some stats in a bit that Tom will put up for us. And, and oh yes, um, exactly, who's got the clicker? Me. Chasing. Fantastic. Do you want to Nah, that's fine. Too late. Too late. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's me. Um, I'll hand over to Tracy. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Tracy. Um, I've been a member of the user group for, like, well, before 2017. Uh, probably all virtually from infancy, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've been through the whole journey with everyone and all the great meetups that we've had. Um, it, it's been a fun time. I, could, I don't know why that makes me think of the Guinness one. Do you remember the Guinness one? We went to the Guinness World Record, that was amazing, that was a good one. It's a birthday party. Ah, that would be why I remember yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a fourth member who is in here, Safi. Um, she's also been a member since, you know what? We actually attended our first user group together, Safi and I. Uh, we turned up at the Salesforce Tower in 2017 and we were met in the lift. And then it was all, yeah, it was both our fans' user groups. And then Safi's been a leader for, right, um, couple years? Five years, maybe, maybe four. Yeah. It's all bled into one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I've been going since 2017 and um, been a user group leader since early this year. Really? Last year. Last, last year? year. Yeah. I was going to say, what do you mean? It's by. We've been clear. Founded in 2017. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, we have hosted over 45 meetups. Actual number unknown. It's a mystery. Um, Father changed its name to account engagement in the big rebrand of 2022. Um, our sister group over there, no, no pain. Um, so we do mainly focus on B2B marketing, although Harlot can be used for B2C and non-profits. We definitely have a lot of people that use the platform for other platforms who are from all sorts of different companies, industries, and things like that. And the big one, very important, we run duck races at every event. Um, do we have a duck race today? Um, I don't know. No? We have a quiz. <laughs> we have a... Come <laughs> along to one of our groups. Um, that's how you can win some swag if you go to your duck uh, rather than what you want to know. Um, so, some highlights here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, London's calling up here. <laughs> okay, Francis and Kerry. So. Um, that was really nice. This was in Slalom, actually, earlier this year for our seventh birthday, I believe. And this was a, is this was a cap? That's cap, cap Gemini. Right. And, and the tower, that was Halloween last mm -hmm. year. As you can see, you've got some lovely costumes here. It's a quality so. feel, yeah. <clears throat> so. Who here has been to London's calling? Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! We do love it. I think all of us have pretty much spoken at it. It's a great community. London, check it out. And um, yeah, you can connect with us. You can follow us on Twitter, r.london. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> and that's it, really. We do also have a YouTube page as well. So if you go to YouTube and type in par.london, I think it's from when we we're doing virtual events in COVID times. Uh, there's a very good GDPR talk. On there, that was done by Chloe, yeah. <laughs> Chloe Prowse, Chloe Ward. Oh, I've forgotten her surname, but very good talk. And we've got some very good examples of how to connect things like go to webinar to your Pardot account as well. This, yeah, so the group. Um, I'm trying to get better at uploading. I'm almost 
I'm trying to get better at uploading like slide decks and recordings and things like that so you've got the resources as well after the event. It's probably a bit of a backlog that needs to get through, but um, yeah, I'm going to try to upload all of that into the group now as well. And our meetups tend to be the last Tuesday of every month, so we'll be back to business as usual next month in September. So if you sign up to our group, you'll get notified by an email when the next event is coming up. Or if you have not signed up, all the emails have gone to spam last Tuesday of every month. And you can always drop us a follow and a message at par.london on Twitter, which um, I have right here, and we'll be able to get back to you with any um, answers to any questions you may have. I will say we have a very good Halloween party over here. So if you like Halloween, <laughs> and that's the thing, you like dressing up, come on. So before anyone does any, oh, right, yeah, so just a recap refresher of the rules. Yeah, um, it's me, there's always rules. So the online quiz is for everybody. We have different QR codes. So if you're in person and you want to potentially win some swag, make sure you're using the right QR code. Uh, they will be clearly labeled in just a second. We have prizes, as previously mentioned, for in-person attendees only, uh, unfortunately, right now. Uh, and you will be able to join the quiz using the QR code, which will come up on the screen in just a second. Are you ready, Francis? We've got four minutes. OK. I don't know what happens. Maybe you can do one of your five-minute things, but in four minutes. No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, come on, come on. Right, OK. There's 25 so questions. Like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> right, you have 20 seconds to answer each question. And uh, yeah, my decision is final, in case, you, <laughs> in case you wanted to question that. Also, the quicker you get the answer. I'm really worried. Yeah. So, fastest finger first. Fastest finger yeah. first. Fastest correct finger first. Yeah. <laughs> right, so. Ready? Da, da, da. Oh, God. Can we join? Yeah? So, for everybody that's listening online, uh, is that other thing? Yeah, okay. For everybody who's online, there's going to be a bit of a delay if you're not in Zoom. So if you're on YouTube watching this, the, vid the quiz is going to go quicker for you than the video, because the video is delayed. Unless you're on they need to join Zoom, which is the, the link. Yeah, all the time for the, but just be aware that it's a bit of a delay on the video, so you don't have to. Yeah. So how many minutes have we got until we go live, Francis? Three? Well, I can go now. Is everybody in? Yeah. We've got 18 no. No. Okay. OK, we'll wait, we'll wait. We've got in person, 18 people. There's more of 18, more of an 18 here. Everybody on going in. Yeah, Tracy, you in? No, not quite. I'm in. Uh, am I over 16? You in? <laughs> well, see if you can answer the question about your own group. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote the questions, so. <laughs> Show of hands, who's ready? 
I just realised. I just realised somehow you got the mic back as well. I know. <laughs> I need to put tight control on this. Yeah. And my first prize is like a trip to Italy before. Paid by Francis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Are we ready? Are you doing virtual? You're doing virtual. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, what's that? Where's London Knights? Oh, oh, oh no, you sit on the screen, you sit there. Oh no. <laughs> Hold that. Count down. We've got two mics. <laughs> Tom and Sterry. <laughs> oh. I remembered. You did. You were paying. Was everyone paying attention? We're on question two now. Question two. Yep. You get up there. What? What's the highlight? I hear you say. Yeah. Oh, it is <laughs> not working. No, I turned it off. Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you just wanted to get this one right. Oh, embarrassing to get this one wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't. Just don't. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's like the first prompt or something. Oh, yeah. So was everyone looking in the bottom corner of the slide deck or yeah. not? That's the question. That is the question. <laughs> Oh, you did. So we've got nine followers now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, we've, got, we've got 14 followers now. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Double digits. Just before X falls over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was Oh, Dan comes into the lead. Oh, Dan's stretch comes into the lead. Is it the top eight get prizes? Mm. Top eight get prizes. So you're, you're all in there. Tough one. I'm just going to arrange my plushies over here. I'll add more plushies. Edge your head. How many years has Julia been on the North Pacific Group? Anyone good at maths? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, you know, no, 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 Oh, wow, I don't want to give it away, Francis. Oh. <laughs> I do know the answer. It's not 57. Okay. The maximum number. Is it 
got four. I mean, product user groups got four, and they were here today. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yeah, but what month was it? I think it was the month of Juan. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't speak French. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. Is it frozen, Francis? Oh no, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Quite close. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Ding. And? It's a bit old. I've heard it's old than yours. When did the marketing cloud improve? I was tempted to put I was tempted to put home on this, but <laughs> I was like, mm. I feel like we should have some like tense music or something. <laughs> I've watched one. I was pointed to, I was looking for something specific though. Right. Yeah. Which oh. marketing cloud marketing cloud group is Kerry, Jameson, Neil, or Tom? Yeah. Trick question. It's me. It's me. No. What month did the marketing group and partner? Part of come together for a mm, Darren's always really quick on these answers. You notice that? I know that one. September still summer. Yeah. You need that Kit Kat, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I decided to go through their, their page and count. Yeah, and then I was like, I'm going to do it for theirs as well, and I did it on their behalf. <laughs> so you inspired that. Yeah. <laughs> When did Oliver become group leader of the government group? 2018, 2019, 2020, 2020. I know they mentioned it a few times. Worried about it, Oliver's going to be quite confused. Yeah. It's all, here we go, here we go, here we go. And, 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 when was the government group established? Mm, yeah, oh, it's official, yeah. Which is now the official documentation. Yeah. Of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2016, What do you think, Francis? I think it was 2018. Oh, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, what was the highlight of the government group? DBLA, HMRC, DBC, or Media Treasury? HMRC is always my highlight of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Although, 
Somebody told me, don't ever put your tax return in early, because nobody does that, and you're more chance of getting investigated. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what devices did the government group feature? Gov.org, gov.com, gov.public, or gov.com. Which one is it, Francis? It's got to be gov. One of them. It's got to start with a gov, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Probably me. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether it's working. Um, mm. Where can you get Salesforce gov.uk front end? Oh, Apple Exchange, Salesforce Labs, gov.uk, or gov.com, that famous site. Yeah. It is probably a site. <laughs> We've had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get up. Yeah, that's not an option though. No, 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 that's not an option. When was the Pardot group founded? Right, no pressure, Pardot guys. I think I got this wrong. You got it wrong. I think I got it wrong. Is the Pardot group called Pardot group? It is officially still Pardot group, yeah. Is it? Mm. Well, I'm getting speed today. 2017. Oh, no, it's not Richard's card. Until we all get out. How many meetups have you done so far? No, no, it didn't. It didn't. I did do the maths and I did what was right. It was 27. That's crazy. It's all in there. Wait, I wonder who's Pug Life. I don't know. I can't remember this. Pug Life, baby. Mmm. Yeah. So, fun fact, over 45 in the Martin Cloud Group, over 41. Ooh. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 but that's not on the screen, so which one is it? Well, it's like with the question again. You know, the question. And it's not powered by either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Percentage of uh, oh, swag, fun, 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 you can do virtual dog races. I didn't actually make it. Can you? Virtual ducks. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't say that until. Yeah. What birthday did the group celebrate this year? Which group? Yeah. Which group? Hard up group. Oh, do you know that's a like a step song, isn't it? Five, six, seven, eight. It is. <laughs> Who's, where's the leaderboard? Right, so, so the first act get prizes, and bizarrely, you've been given a secret word. Those top eight winners. So, Darren, what's your secret word? Uh, my secret word is two words. Awesome architect. Come on. Come on down, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm actually forfeiting my prize. I just okay. wanted to do the quiz, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to. Well, you what would you like? We've got a power bank, a mug, some pads. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 So, which prize would you like? We've got some plushies, got some pads, a mug, power bank. 
Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you. What would you like? Uh, mug, power bank, note, notepads, some other. And we've got one plushie left. Is this the mug? Yeah, that's the mug. Yeah, yep. awesome. I have that plushie. Hmm? Oh. This is a little, little key ring one. This is a tote bag, power bank. Yeah. <laughs> right, so what we've got left? A power bank? Is that like a charger for like a phone? Yeah. That sounds like I can get it. That's Lego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You're welcome. Yeah, we've got some left. Yeah. Um, four left. Uh, I mean, we can. What would you like? So, Lego. A card protector that stops people tapping your card. Notepads. No one wants notepads. <laughs> And tote bag. The Lego. Right. <laughs> so difficult decision time. <laughs> Notepad, tote bag, or a card holder that's RFID safe. I'm going to go notepad. Yeah. I've got one notepad. That's fine, we can take it home. No. Yeah, one more, go. <laughs> That's a tote bag. Yeah, cool. Now, I've got to figure out how to switch it back. Okay, if anybody can see my mouse, anybody can see my mouse, no, no. see my mouse, no. anybody see my mouse, no. No. Okay. Still no. Still no. Yeah. where, 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 Okay, back. A nice Benny Hill reference, love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to wrap up. Yeah, news and events. News and events. Yeah. So, oh. I think you've got the ticket. Click has stopped working. Oh, oh we should have said it wasn't. Is that a juice? Oh, yes, yeah, so everybody online, um, the first place was Akan Akanksha. <laughs> Uh, with 124 points. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. Second, with 101 points, with Matt, the Vanessa Matt. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Of course, Dave. Um, and we have no idea who Vanessa Grant is, do we? No. <laughs> who let her? Who let her in? Yeah. Third with 95 points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Back to the. Clicker is broken. Down to Francis to navigate now. Is the It doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Thanks, Tracy. Okay. Find the mouse, find the mouse. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. There you go. Oh, can I just press it then? Tom. Yeah, ah. So, we are trying something, and uh, if you have leveled up a ranger status between uh, our last meetup, which was in June, and now, if you come and see me with your confirmation email from Salesforce, we have some special swag for you specifically. So that's anybody that's gone to... Um, yeah, but, okay. Uh, 
Ranger, double star, triple star, four star, five star, or somebody like me that's an all star ranger? Does six or ranger count? I'm all bag. Yes? <laughs> first come, first served. Okay, cool. Yeah, the, 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 the all star range one is a, a bit special, so yeah. um, if you haven't done that, well done. Seven more than five, Yeah. Okay, so now we've got some dates. Oh, I like this. Yeah. So, 15th of August. Oh, yeah. 15th of August. Um, the Mega Meet is happening between the admin groups, uh, developer group, women in tech, and uh, guest starring Data Tribe as well. The 29th of August, which is the last what day of the month? June. Tuesday? No, 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 no. We're not doing one this month. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the calendar says otherwise. Improvise them. Yeah, so uh, ignore that. <laughs> 5th of September for Data Tribe. 12th, 13th, 14th of September, a little thing called Dreamforce that you may have heard of. You might not know what it is. Google it and you'll find out, yeah. Yeah. We might be adjusting that date. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Right. That's why. So Tentative. Like... So scan the QR code from earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And join the chat. All these dates are subject to change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You could do one together. Yeah. Yeah. What a great idea. I believe that's confirmed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should always, I should really start getting this slide checked before I present it, shouldn't I? But the calendar's wrong, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Twentieth uh, September developer user group. I ask that as a question now. Um, that one's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Where's 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 if it's not in the calendar. Okay. That's confirmed. Yeah, that's confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Can I add a further? Yeah. Rambles is on the 29th of September to the. Ramble. Ramble Force. Ramble Force, 29th of September. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's in the Lake District. Oh, so nice. It's, um, three, days the up district. Lake, three days up in the Lake District. Really yeah. cool event. Um, you come along and we do walking. There's different levels. We look after you all. Um, Give her a mic. Give her a mic. Give her a mic. Come on, Ramble Force. I'm very passionate about Ramble Force. And I have all of a sudden somehow become a member of the team who organise it without really meaning to organise it. So I will mention Ramble Force. So I went last year. It was an amazing event. Um, up in the lake this year, three days, so we come up on the Friday and then we're there and we walk Saturday, Sunday and then go home on the Monday. And it happens to coincide, coincidentally not, the, the beer festival also happens at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so after all the walking there is lots of relaxation available um, and also they've got all like great, like, really lovely like um, burger vans and pizza things and stuff like that and loads of live music. So it's a really great weekend, and we all come together, and we just, um, people from completely different walks of Salesforce life from all over, um, and you get together and you talk about it. I mean, I learned lots, I met, got to meet people, I ended up sort of presenting at a different user group that I didn't even know about because I went to that event, and also there was like, people there who were like just starting out in the Salesforce world, and I was like, able to share my experiences, and then there was people there who like run the whole of Barclays. And I was able to talk to them and I learned, learned loads from them about what they were doing and they were all quite the force of everything they were talking about and that kind of stuff. So it was a really, really good event. Yes. Um, What's the distance covered walking? Um, <laughs> depends on the Vienna Mountain. Well, the Vienna Mountain. <laughs> um, it, so, there's, so there's different ones for different levels of experience. So there's a, I know, so I know the, the itinerary this year, so we've got um, on a Saturday we've got two different ones. So we've got a two hour one 
for the lower level ones where we stop off near a waterfall and then there's um, other, and we can bring your dogs as well if you want by the way, which obviously I'm a bit on that. So my dogs will be coming and they'll be getting in the water and having a play around. Um, and then there's another and then there's a, for the more experienced walk, there's a four hour one that we'll be doing. And then on a Sunday we'll all be doing a walk together with some Salesforce quizzes and other bits on the way up the mountain. Um, and just for a bit of fun, but we'll actually be doing a Wayne Mike, so everyone will achieve a Wayne Mike while they're there. I don't know if anyone doesn't know what a Wayne, I can't even say the word, um, Wayne Mike is. So basically this guy, years and years and years ago, went round um, cataloguing all the hills and mountains there that were above a certain height, um, and talking about how difficult they could grade them and everything like that, and he was called, I have no idea, his first name was Wayne Mike. Mr. Wayne Mike, okay? <laughs> and so, um, thank you. And so basically, yeah, there's about 220 of them. Um, but this one we're going to go up is called Luffery. It's one of the smaller ones. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're all going to be up together as a team event and we'll be doing some like, games to go up, so it's going to be quite good on Sunday. But we all get to achieve a Wayne Mike. So, as Ollie said, when is it? It starts on the 29th of September. It's a Friday. That's a Friday, yeah, so we get there on the Friday and then we um, walk Saturday, Sunday and then we have a breakfast on the Monday to say goodbye to everyone on the Monday. Um, and, I mean, but obviously you can leave as and when you want, there's no, like, you have to be there for the whole thing you do it Tracy, is it paid? Um, you do have to, so there's actually, so, um, there's an entry fee of £60, any money that's left goes to charity. Um, so we, and you'll get free breakfast and stuff like that in it, um, so we... Breakfast is notorious, aren't they? Oh, the food there is amazing, yeah, the breakfast on here. So yeah, we've got, um, there's actually, um, so on Saturday we're going to eat at the breakfast, this is how much, <laughs> Falls Cafe. They've got a new cafe, like, on the way up to the first walks that we're going to go into, called Falls Cafe. It was meant to be. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, we're all over excited about the fact that we're going to get to go to the Falls Cafe. Falls Cafe. And um, they have tried the food, and it's very good, so we'll be eating it. And they're going to organise so we can pick up lunch boxes, you know, as well if you want to, so. Um, yeah, get, get to it's about only 60 quid to actually take part, um, and then you just organise your own accommodation as well. Um, I mean, we sort of got together on WhatsApp and sort of sorted out groups of people who want to go, so if you want someone to sort of uh, try and arrange accommodation with, we can try and help you out, try and find out someone who has all the sort of accommodation and might have a spare room or something like that, so if anyone's interested, tap me up or whatever, so on LinkedIn or just go to the Ramble Force. I'm, I'm, I'm posting about Ramble Force on my LinkedIn all the time so you'll be able to get to the page where Ramble Force is. So it's a Ramble Force. Ramble So, somehow Francis is going to get the mic this again. This is what I do. Yeah. This is what I do. Challenge. Challenge. Are you ready? You want for a challenge? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I will move my camera over here because this is what's involved in the challenge. Okay. So, an additional hour this time. Are you ready? One, two, three. Challenge accepted! Yeah! Virtually, we appreciate you joining. And uh, hopefully you've been inspired about different user groups that maybe you've not interacted with before. And uh, yeah, thanks again for, for being part of this event. Oh, and also, the whole speaking at an event, if you do want to do a five minute feature, honestly, it is just speak about anything you like. It's only five minutes. If it's a complete disaster, it doesn't matter, it's five minutes. <laughs> Um, but it's amazing, it's amazing, and you, it's, the platform's so massively vast, it's impossible that everybody knows it. So there'll be somebody that will find it useful anyway. Well, or that's what I say to myself. Francis, anyway. you've always told me that five minutes is harder than 30 minutes. You've got to be concise. <laughs> yeah, I do, but <laughs> shh. <laughs> so, so Francis, spoilers, based spoilers. on this, you're providing the wrong information based on what you said. Well, it is, but then we're in a kind of safe scenario, safe world here. Right? But then you've got the camera faces. It's only the camera. <laughs> That's not crazy, Dre. You know, it's why you're always the cameraman, you're always behind it, right? And you never get shown. But yeah, it's great, and you know, you can build our confidence like that. The other thing that Harry Potter. The thing that people don't realise is that Francis is actually working it out on the lift in the way up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Secrets, secrets. <laughs>
Everyone knows now. <laughs> and I see my old talk talk. Well. I'm still doing it, just with what I was walking on. Yeah. So you sat cross-legged laptop? Yeah. I mean, it's probably relevant, you know, to what's just happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did you want a beer? Did you want a beer? Just move to the side. Um, I won't think of you Okay, so uh, Salesforce reached out to me um, and said, could you be in a challenge? We're doing this challenge thing. But essentially they doing a on AI and Trailhead, right? And they're comprising it the next couple of months and they're doing a little kind of social video. And yeah, it wasn't their idea, it was actually my idea. <laughs> <laughs> I suggested that maybe we could all kind of shout out challenge accepted for accepting the AI challenge to do a module to a Trailhead. Does that sound like that? Right there? Right there? Right there? So you really want to find your inner America. <laughs> So really, you know, have it up. <laughs> whoop, whoop, right? Yeah. You ready? Oh, you're going to count this in. Yeah. Are you going to count this in? They know we're British. <laughs> well, who knows? 